Okay guys, I'm doing this the best that I can. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys how to use your Microsoft Excel to calculate your Weight Watchers points. Um, I went online and I found the formula that is used to calculate the points. So I'm going to show you how to make a points calculator. So here's the one that I made earlier and it's fully functional. I can enter my calories which um, let's say for example is 400. That's a lot of calories but we're going to go with that. Then you just hit enter. Enter your fat content which we'll say is 9 grams of fat. This is just an example. And we'll say it has 3 grams of fiber. And you hit enter and down here it shows you that you have used 8 points. You want to select 2 to 3 cells at the top and you want to type in weight I'm doing this upside down because my laptop is facing my large computer monitor I have them hooked up together so that my cam will view my monitor so <laughs> It's hard to do this upside down. Weight Watchers Calculator. Once you have it typed in, if you see that it's not, sh it's showing it up here um, in the formula bar. This is the formula bar. But in the cell, it's cut off. So go ahead and hit enter, and you'll see it there. Now, with it still selected, you're going to hit this button right here which is the merge and center button. You're just going to hit that and it's going to center it and make all those cells one cell. So you're halfway there. Now we want to type in, I'm going to go down, I'm going to leave a, 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 um, a cell between them and I'm going to go back up here to the formula bar and I'm going to type in calories. And for our purposes, I'm just going to type C-A-L. I'm going to go to the next cell, and we're going to type in fat, and these are all in grams, and the next cell down, we're going to write fiber, or FIB for our purposes today. I'm going to skip a cell, and then I'm going to write total. I'm going to leave the calorie, the cells next to calorie, fat, and fiber blank. This is the cell that's most important, the one next to total. This is where the formula is going to go. So you're going to come up here into the formula bar after you've selected the cell next to total. You come up to the formula bar and you're going to type in this formula. This has to be typed in exactly as I tell you, okay? You need to do an equal sign. You need your parentheses, okay? And now you're going to click on the cell next to calories, and it's going to make it look kind of crazy. And up here it says H4, because that's the cell that that is. So in this formula, it's going to use the, the number that we enter in H4 as this portion of the formula. Now we're going to do a division sign, which is a, back, a backslash. And we're dividing the number in cell H4 by 50. Okay, and we're going to close those parentheses. Oops. I'm doing it backwards, so <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to type a plus, okay, and we're going to do another parenthesis, okay, with me so far. Now we're going to click on the cell next to the word fat. 
that's H5. So whatever value is in H5, we got it. And as you can see right here, it's keeping a running visual of what we have up here in the formula bar. We're typing up here in the formula bar. So we're going to divide H5. So you're going to get us a backslash here. Okay. We're going to divide that by 12. Close this parentheses. Okay. And we're going to subtract. So you get a little minus symbol. Do another parenthesis. Click on the cell next to fiber. Divide it. Little backslash. And you're going to put in five. Okay. We're going to close this parentheses up. Okay. Now all you need to do is hit enter. And that it's going to show a zero right here because there's no numbers on here. Okay. But if I were to make a calculation, you can see this is the um, the one I used earlier. The example I gave you earlier. Let's do a different example. Let's see how many points is in this soda. Okay. So that's not a real hard one, but we're going to use it anyways. So it's 100 calories. Hit enter has zero fat, enter, and zero fiber, enter. So the total is two points. Because whatever you enter into these will be calculated into this box using this formula. Okay? But in Weight Watchers, they always round up to the next point. So let's find a calculation that leaves us with a decimal point. So I'm going to use like 234 calories, um, 5 grams of fat, and 2 grams of fiber. Hopefully this will give us... Okay. Now you see it has this really long decimal. Now, we know I mean, we can round that up ourselves, but wouldn't it be a lot easier if it did it for us? I think it would. Right-click into the cell to bring up your dialog box. You're going to select Format Cells. Give it a second. I got a lot of stuff running. <laughs> and under Format Cells, you're going to get a whole bunch of different options. Okay. You're going to click on the Number tab and go down to Custom. And right under where it says General, there's a zero. That means we don't want any decimal places. We want it to round. So we're going to push that, and it rounded it to 5 for us. We're going to click OK, and now it says 5 instead of 4 point blah -de blah -de blah -de blah So now, I've just calculated how many points I have. So I hope that was helpful. Now, if you want to make it cute like I did, really easy. Let me see how we're doing on time here. We want to make our little calculator pretty. So we're going to select our little calculator. So, you know, you just click and drag to select as many cells as you want. Okay. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go to format cells like we did before to get it to round it for us. We're going to go to border. I want it to be outlined with a dashed line. And I want it to be pink. So, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to have more colors. Ooh, I like that color. Okay. So it's going to be outlined in that color. Done. See? Changed it. And I want the fill to be a different color. Pink. I want it to be a softer pink. Maybe like that. Okay. But I want it to be a gradient. So I clicked on fill effects. I want two colors on my fill effect. I want that dark pink, like the border was, and then a light pink, and that looks cool. And I'm going to select this variant, I'm going to click OK, 
And there's the sample. That's what it's going to look like. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit my laptop. I'm going to click OK. And check it out. We have a totally cute custom Weight Watchers calculator. Um, so I hope you guys found this useful with a little bit of knowledge with Microsoft Excel and a formula. You can do a lot of stuff.